Hello. Uh, do we get a countdown? How's this work? Yeah, it's, going. it's going. Okay. Uh, I shoot concerts. Um, this is uh, one of the first photos I took when uh, I kind of figured I think I know how I'm doing on film. Uh, when I had to smuggle my uh, camera into shows, uh, I once uh, smuggled it in a, a diaper bag, of all things. Um, Arcade Fire was the first band that actually gave me a real press pass. Um, it was actually sometime back in, I think, 2005. They weren't that big yet, so they let me in. I was all by myself. Nobody else to help me out in the front and hot lights on me. And you couldn't, it was all on film, so, you know, no digital chimping. Um, but concert photography has been great for me. It's opened up so many doors. Um, it's uh, taken me to my highest of highs. This is at the Pemberton Music Festival, where I was literally hanging outside of a helicopter. Uh, not to name drop, it was the same helicopter that Jay-Z and Beyonce just stepped out of. So I was like, hopa. Um, <laughs> but I, I, you know, the, the neat thing about uh, shooting this sort of thing is you start off uh, uh, in smaller clubs, all that sort of thing, and you never know who's going to be big. Uh, this is Florence and the Machine at the Commodore, and you know you get to see some of these bands before they completely blow up. And those are the photos that I like the most, and uh, they're the most intimate. Um, it has let me kind of fulfill a lot of dreams. I never thought I'd ever be front row at ACDC when I was a five-year-old kid taping it off the radio. Um, remember tape and radio? Um, yeah. So, uh, so it's let me into the places where other people kind of dream of, and there's always the fans to remind you that you have the best job in the world at a lot of times. Um, so what I try to capture is those moments where there's pure exhilaration. Um, the people are actually having fun and smiling. I try to, uh, to uh, really make it look like uh, the performers are having a lot of fun. And if I do that, do that right, then uh, you know, the photos kind of speak for themselves. So you get to, like I say, I, I, I still do a lot of shows in uh, smaller clubs, but you get to do some of the biggest artists in the world as well, like Miss Taylor here. Um, and sometimes before they <laughs> fall, uh, he's Canadian, we still like him, right? Um, I, you know, the funny thing about this photo, it's only about a year and a half old, and uh, he's changed a lot since then. <laughs> a few more tattoos and stuff. Uh, the other thing that uh, doing this, it gives me a lot of street cred with my students. I still teach high school, and. They love that I'm up in the front when they're back there. Uh, this photo in particular I put in at the Biltmore. Some of you might have been there. I, be, I got kicked in the face. Two seconds into the show, blood streaming down my shirt. Uh, tooth went through my upper lip. And I, I just the safest place to shoot was the stage. So that's where I was. Uh, Radiohead, my, uh, again, my original bucket list was Radiohead, ACDC, U2, uh, a couple others I can't re name right now. My first photo in a magazine, so it's kind of a big deal for me. Uh, Radiohead was the band that I uh, smuggled the camera and the diaper bag in, so um, it's all legal unless someone says no, right? Uh, every, every photographer who does this kind of thing, they, the dream is to be in Rolling Stone. This is my first photo in Rolling Stone magazine. Um, since then, I've had a few more, but I, they never really tell me, so I was in the, you know, the uh, Save on Foods magazine aisle, and I was like, I I think I recognize that. That was fine. Um, uh, a little bit of advice is uh, you never know what you've got a lot of times until you get home and actually start editing them. Uh, this show last summer, everything was in red light, so if you're a concert photographer, that's the worst thing in the world. Uh, but when I turned the photos black and white, they were great. Um, other advice I would give, uh, this uh, is always shoot where no one else is shooting from. So whenever I see all the photographers on the left, I go to the right. Um, this particular shot, nobody noticed the absolute mirror symmetry on the, uh, on the floor, on the ground there. And uh, of course, uh, I didn't tell any of the other photographers. And then when I got out, I was like, hey guys, look at this. And they're all jealous. <laughs> um, never delete anything in camera. This is uh, my favorite band in the world, U2. And I was about to delete it for some reason. I was like, uh, and I didn't. And I went home, put it on the computer, and it was the best photo of the night. And uh, uh, really glad I didn't hit trash. Um, every now and then you get to actually work with the artists and uh, you get to get you know, the one-on-one the -on -one interactions, try to bring out their personality. And uh, you, a lot of times you only have about 10, 15 minutes to work with. So you got to have ideas. You can't just stand there and expect them to do stuff for you. 
Every now and then the artists notice you in the pit. I was wearing a Brooklyn Dodgers jersey. Most deaf happens to be from Brooklyn. Jump down, this is a massive festival, jump down from the stage, cleared everybody else out of the way, went like this to me, and uh, <laughs> sang, uh, did like, you know, a, a three or four uh, verses. My favorite thing at concerts a lot of time happens to be the fans, and without the fans, there's no show. And uh, you're trying to make a connection with these people in like a split second and get something out of them. And uh, you end up with some pretty crazy results sometimes. Real wild things happen in, in, this, in the stage, uh, in front of the stage. Uh, and then you never know who you're going to meet. So these two nice girls were at the very front. And I asked them, Do your, does your mother know where you are? And uh, they said, yeah. And then I gave them candy, and then they smiled for me. So you know, <laughs> it's OK to give candy to children now and then. Um, all of these photos, uh, of all the photos that I've shot, this is still my favorite, and most people agree. Uh, it was my first photo that was actually a double page spread in a magazine, and that kind of blew me away when you see that. Something about print still legitimizes us in this digital age. Um, so that's still my, my best photo to date. It's uh, at the Pemberton Festival in 2008. But no photo is more important than the ones that matter the most. That's my mom. So <laughs> pander to the audience. Uh, I always got to remind myself that I'm very lucky to do what I do, and I got to remember the people that got me there, and my mom's kind of a big deal. So um, there you go. I have to go shoot Simon Sting now. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Thank